welcome back to the tea. Don't forget to interact with us on our socials if you hadn't done that over the short break. Our social media pages are at KT and Home. And you can also catch up on previous episodes on YouTube. My name is Laura Mbatha and I'm here with a very, very beautiful... With this beautiful lady, Lina yes. Wendete. All right. And we're moving on to the international scene. Burna Boy, who has crossed boundaries, he's just about to go to Mars and perform to people beyond our mm -hmm. scope because we don't deserve him. Showed up for a concert seven hours late. Mm -hmm. And you get, you know, last, last, and you still shouted back? I'm and everybody go chop breakfast. And Nigerians are chopping it. I don't mm. know how they are chopping it, but they are so furious. Apparently, it's not Banner Boy's fault. Mm. Organizers were events and promoters as usual. This, th this thing happens everywhere. everywhere. Apparently, the industry is so complex in a way that I don't know what to explain. Mm. Because someone like Banner Boy is not supposed to be showing up for the, a show seven hours late just because of sound issues. Yeah. Wow. Well, he said his, his sound is a bit more, mm -hmm. how do you call it? It's better. He did say better, mm -hmm. but he meant it was better than, than what you actually get with other artists. So they didn't have the, I don't think they have the capacity. But they didn't have the capacity to, to cater to Burner Boy's needs mm -hmm. and that's why he came late. Mm -hmm. So he showed up, he gave the performance of a lifetime mm -hmm. still and people sang, they complained yeah. but they sang mm -hmm. and he promised to actually start his own kind of uh, production company or media mm -hmm. something that will cater to these high standards of his. But that's good, that's a mm. good move. Exactly, if so he called to investors mm. and if you're an investor and you're watching, also come here, exactly. we really like it. What do you guys think, just let us know on our YouTube page because I don't understand, is it a problem with the artist or is mm. it a problem with the industry at large, the, the promoters? Because this thing is happening everywhere. Yeah. I'm a juicy dream, I could show up for an event mm. in Kenya, the same thing, and now in Nigeria. And it's happening to not just small artists, but also big artists. Yeah. So this is something that I guess they're supposed to just work on. I guess with events, there's a lot of things that come into mm -hmm. play, when it, whether it's uh, the organizers, the equipment itself, yeah. the people mm -hmm. themselves, the turnout, and all those things. But he came out to give an explanation, yeah, which, which is, is already nice. good enough mm -hmm. for me, I think. And we uh, should move fine. on. I yeah. apologize. Let's move on. On the same, same yeah. note, Mick Mill was in Ghana oh, for, was it Afrochella? Mm -hmm. Yes, Afrochella, which was very, very good, by the way. Afrochella. There was Afrochella and there was Afro Nation. Yeah. So one of those two events. Mm -hmm. But while he was there on his ride, bike rides, as people do in Ghana, he lost his phone, which was stolen. And he made a plea on social media to the person who had his phone to please return it and no action would be taken against him. And he had a price. Yes. 10,000 Ghanaian CDs, I'm not sure. Uh, but he had a, no, no, an amount dollars. of money. <laughs> he had some money he'd give to the person who returned his phone because he said he needed it. And I get it because a lot of music, a lot of artists have their music on their phones, yeah. they have samples, mm -hmm. yada, yada, yeah. so all that. And he even got the phone before it was returned by someone getting arrested ah, with it in Ghana. Yeah. But because snitches get stitches and McNeil doesn't roll that way, he actually pleaded with the police to let him go because he can't confirm whether he dropped it mm, or he I left it. <laughs> Should that Nairobi. which I, I kind of understand but for me i have this kind of you know weird relationship with thieves but it's me, a short if i see a thief thing. and a tire the two things just go together i'm not advocating for any violence please report people who make crimes to the relevant authorities, uh, authorities. but, but if you I look at the smug shot of the person who is alleged who's the alleged thief Hey, He's catching flights and my iPhones are catching flights and I'm Ghana and I'm watching YouTube. should understand that that's our daily lives. Tonight she even unatembe I would just go to Kwanza. Imagine, but we roll and we're in the layers. I'm too busy. My wife cannot see me much. Hey, behave. Unatembe to be la But the last part in a Kwanza privacy. When you imagine that someone is yeah. going to tamper with your mm. privacy, hey, that that's a whole different. One hundred percent. Lafunde to Ziki fly you go on internet too mm -hmm. too much so in the age of only fans which would we bring it back a bit locally in the age of only fans i think having private photos of yourself on the internet mm -hmm. is no longer a big deal but not. well people still take that to hold people mm -hmm. You come up and blackmail black someone yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. it, it's kind of this it's a disgusting habit mm -hmm. i mean However you feel about certain types of content mm -hmm. that people have, whether it's for a partner, whether yeah. it's for 
business purposes that's on the side but for someone to actually blackmail you and be like i would put this kind of content about you yeah. out there if you don't to degrade you as a human you. being to lessen your value yeah. people have actually committed suicide because of such things so a person who's been a victim and is a very young girl i think she's 20. she's 20. yeah she's a recent mother who just gave birth is georgina njenga who for some of you who don't know is tyler Baez. Mm, white well, girlfriend fiance, yeah, fiance i don't do know do people get married at this age no, 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 that's what we want to do. your best. This is our house. We have a dog, a cat, and a child, and somehow they're together. And we've adapted to do you. Anyway, so Judy Nanjenga was threatened by an ex, allegedly, through studio accounts that he released nude photos of her on the internet unless he paid her. At some point, he was asking for 20,000 Kenshi, $200. And then she just said, through Edgar Barry, right, that. He just wanted to not give her peace of mind. She just didn't want. He just didn't want her to have peace of mind in the yeah. relationship. He must have been bitter. Mm -hmm. So this also comes out that she was 17 when these videos were coming out. 17? Mm -hmm. First of all, like, I haven't seen them, but like, I also the haven't seen them. that are on Twitter. Because first of all, I do not. If you have that video deleted, that is child. That's so bad. Exploitation. Yeah. You cannot have such. Because she's a parent right now. Can you just respect that? Mm. Just so apparently they came out when she was 17. So this mm -hmm. is a whole other case on its own. But she defended herself and said she did it to a person that she felt she could yeah. trust. And this other guy claimed she met. They met when she was doing hookups mm -hmm. and selling these explicit photos for financial gain. So who's telling the truth? There's, a, there's been a poll, people are voting. There is. Of course, people are always rooting for someone to be shamed and mm -hmm. ashamed. And, and you obviously, know. there's a lot of immaturity up because mm. you don't, if someone trusts you with something, especially when you guys are in love, you don't look at them the next day. Yeah. Hey, hey, me, first of all, I don't want to speak. You don't want to shake. I'm like, mm. oh, stucky flashbacks. But honey, yeah. Yeah, I'm just That's hoping that whoever, whoever, come on, I saw pictures of Georgina Tafadali. 2023 we have we are chasing money we're chasing a lot of things not nudes Imagine. here please but anyway i hope she resolves that and get some kind of peace of mm -hmm. mind because it, it's an invasion of privacy that yeah do that mm -hmm. only god knows how that would feel someone else who is just giving us the all access to her privacy gabrielle union i am not even a fan I'll be honest, when's the last time she was in any good movie? Honestly, I think I only read her books. I don't watch her movies so she much. She has books. Not even just one. What is she telling people? Her career is not even that big. Well, apparently she's talking. telling us... I'm based in Nairobi. Apparently she's telling us that she, she, is, she is entitled to cheat on you if she is paying your bills. I don't know how true that is. What a way to set women backwards 10,000 years because this is actually coming from another woman. First of oh, all, if listen, you paid your man's bills, why are you telling us? Eh, eh, Alafi, you're telling us that she's she been cheated. jobless for a while. She had this movie that didn't actually do well where she was doing a voiceover. She's been, she's been a B-list actor for a very long time. I mean, why would you even say that? I know. Mimi ni lianga lepche yo mwanaume ka yimi di morume. I felt so much pity. He's an NFL, a former NFL player, by the way. But I kind of get her pain because Nishai Baya Chalangu Kredu Asona kapigia ex demi ake. Yo, kitu. Ake li ni bo. Kitu alisema wanawake wakikulipia ata. Kwa nishuma me, let me tell you what I did. Ali nime ni mbaye data, niliko ushago. Fum kwa mama zangu do, nika mbaye airtime. And then he went ahead to text babes on Instagram. Right. But I think, Baby. but I think if if you're someone if you're someone who's uh, who if you are a person who are uh, your bills are getting paid by a woman, tafadali pia wewe jieshimu kwa sababu si juu na expect nini? I don't know what, what you. I know exactly. I don't know what you're expecting. But I guess that's it for today. We have sipped so much tea, and I uh, hope that we get to catch up next week. But for now, guys. Uh, I think we are going to leave these people single. Yes. Until next week, guys. My name is Linda Wandete, and of course, you can always catch up with us on our YouTube channel. We have a lot of content for you guys over there in case you miss out on any of our episodes here. All right. My name is Laura Lata. Catch me this next week, same time, same place. Don't forget, YouTube is always available in case you miss the episodes. In case you're heading out somewhere fast and you just want to hear the laughs again, YouTube is the place to be. Our KTN homepage is also open for any commentary, suggestions. We love to hear from you. And of course, my personal page is at Martha Laura. See you next week.
welcome back to the tea don't forget to interact with us on our socials if you hadn't done that over the short break our social media pages are at katie and home and you can also catch up on previous episodes on youtube my name is laura mbatha and i'm here with a very very beautiful with this beautiful lady Lina yes. Wendete. all right and we're moving on to the international scene by a boy who has crossed boundaries he's just about to go to mars and perform to people beyond our mm-hmm. scope because we don't deserve him showed up for a concert seven hours late mm-hmm. and you get you know sure, last last and you still shouted back <laughs> and everybody got chop breakfast and nigerians are chopping it i don't mm. know how they are chopping it but they are so furious apparently it's not banner boy's fault mm. organizers were events and promoters as usual this this thing happens everywhere. everywhere. Apparently, the industry is so complex in a way that I don't know what to explain. Mm. Because someone like Banaboy is not supposed to be showing up for a, a show seven hours late just because of sound issues. Yeah. Wow. Well, he said his his sound is a bit more. Mm-hmm. How do you call it? It's better. He did say better, mm-hmm. but he meant it was better than, than what you <laughs> actually get with other artists. So they didn't have the. I don't think they have the capacity. But they didn't have the capacity to, to cater to Burner Boy's needs mm-hmm. and that's why he came late. Mm-hmm. So he showed up, he gave the performance of a lifetime mm-hmm. still and people sang, they complained yeah. but they sang mm-hmm. and he promised to actually start his own kind of uh, production company or media mm-hmm. something that will cater to these high standards of his. But that's good, that's a mm. good move. Exactly, if so he can... called to investors and if you're an investor and you're watching, also come here. Exactly. We really like it. What do you guys think? Just let us know on our YouTube page because I don't understand. Is it a problem with the artist or is mm. it a problem with the industry at large, the, the promoters? Because this thing is happening everywhere. Yeah. The juicy Juinani I could show up for an event mm. in Kenya, the same thing, and now in Nigeria. And it's happening to not just small artists but also big artists. Yeah. So this is something that I guess they're supposed to to just work on. I guess with events there's a lot of things that come into mm-hmm. play when it, whether it's uh, the organizers, the equipment itself, yeah. the people mm-hmm. themselves, the turnout and all those things. But uh, he came out to give an explanation yeah, which, which is, is already nice. good enough mm-hmm. for me. I think And we uh, should move fine. on. Yeah. Apologize. Let's move on. On the same same note, McMill was in Ghana oh, for was it Afrochella? Mm-hmm. Yes, Afrochella. Which was very, very good by the Afrochella. There was Afrochella and there was Afro Nation. Yeah. So one of those two events. Mm-hmm. But while he was there on his ride, bike rides, as people do in Ghana, he lost his phone, which was stolen. And he made a plea on social media to the person who had his phone to please return it and no action would be taken against him. And he had a price. Yes. Mm-hmm. 10,000 CD, Ghanaian CDs, I'm not sure. Uh, but he had a, an amount of money. <laughs> He had some money he'd give to the person who returned his phone because he said he needed it. And I get it because a lot of music, a lot of artists have their music on their phone. Yeah. They have samples, mm-hmm. they have their data. Yeah. So all that. And he even got the phone before it was returned by someone getting arrested ah. with it in Ghana. Yeah. But because snitches get stitches and Nick Mill doesn't roll that way, he actually pleaded with the police to let him go because he can't confirm whether he dropped it mm-hmm. or he I left it. <laughs> Should come that to Nairobi. Is, which I, I kind of understand, but for me, I have this kind of, you know, weird relationship with thieves. But it's me, so a short if I see of a that thief thing. and a tire, the two things just go together. I'm not advocating for any violence. Please report people who make crimes to the relevant authorities. Uh, authorities. But, but if I you look at the smug shot of the person who is alleged, who is the alleged thief. Hey, I swear He's catching flights and iPhone and should understand that that's our daily lives. Tonight she even on a time where he go to a but we roll and and the But the last part in a kwanga privacy. When you imagine that someone is going to tamper with your privacy, hey, that that's a whole different. One hundred to Ziki fly you go internet Ooh, mm-hmm. too much so in the age of only fans which would we're bringing it back a bit locally in the age of only fans i think having private photos of yourself on the internet is no longer a big deal but not. well people still take that to hold people uh-huh. You come up a blackmail someone yeah. yeah and it, it's kind of it's a disgusting habit mm. i mean 
however you feel about certain types of content mm -hmm. that people have, whether it's for a partner, whether yeah. it's for business purposes, that's on the side. But for someone to actually blackmail you and be like, I would put this kind of content about you yeah. out there if you don't to degrade you as a human you. being, to lessen your value. Yeah. People have actually committed suicide because of such things. I know. So a person who's been a victim and is a very young girl, I think she's 20. She is 20. Yeah, she's a recent mother who just gave birth is Georgina Njenga, who for some of you who don't know is Tyler Mbaez. My girlfriend? Your fiance? I don't Do know. Do people man. get married at this age? No, 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 that's what we all live together. Your best. This is our house. We have a dog, a cat, and a child, and somehow they're together. And we've adapted to do you. Anyway, so Judy Nanjenga was threatened by an ex, allegedly, through mm -hmm. studio accounts that he released nude photos of her on the internet unless he paid her. At some point, he was asking for 20000 can she? $200. And then she just said, through Edgar Barry, right, that he just wanted to not give her peace of mind. She just didn't want, he just didn't want her to have peace of mind in the yeah. relationship. He must have been bitter. Mm -hmm. So this also comes out that she was 17 when these videos were coming out. First of all, I haven't seen them, but like, I also have seen them that are on Twitter. Because the first of all, I do not. If you have that video deleted, that is child. That's so bad. Exploitation. Uh, yeah. You cannot have such. She's a parent video. right now. Can you just respect that? Mm. Just so apparently they came out when she was seventeen. So this mm -hmm. is a whole other case on its own. But she defended herself and said she did it to a person that she felt she could yeah. trust. And this other guy claimed. She met, they met when she was doing hookups oh, and no. selling these explicit photos for financial gain. So who's telling the truth? There's, a, there's been a poll, people are voting. Are of course, people are always rooting for someone to be shamed and mm -hmm. ashamed. And, and you obviously, know. there's a lot of immaturity up because mm. you don't, if someone trusts you with something, especially when you guys are in love, you don't look at them the next day. Yeah. Hey, sh hey, me, first of all, I don't want to speak. You don't want to shake. I'm like, mm. oh. Sticky flashbacks, but honey, yeah. Yeah, I'm just that hoping that whoever, whoever, come book on his yeah. pictures at Georgina Tafadali. It's 2023. We, have, we are chasing money, we're chasing a lot of things, not nudes. Imagine. Yeah. Please. But anyway, I hope she resolves that and gets some kind of peace of mm -hmm. mind because it, it's an invasion of privacy. That, I know. Yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. Only God knows how that would feel. Someone else who is just giving us the, all access to her privacy, Gabriel Union. I am not even a fan. I'll be honest, when's the last time she was in any good movie? Honestly, I think I only read her books. I don't watch her movies so she much. She has books, not even just one. What is she telling people? Her career is not even that big. Well, apparently she's talking. telling us... I'm based in Nairobi. Apparently she's telling us that she, she, is, she is entitled to cheat on you if she is paying your bills. I don't know how true that is. What are we to set women backwards 10,000 years because this is actually coming from another woman? First of all, oh, if you said, paid your man's bills, why are you telling us? Eh, eh, I love you telling us that she's you been cheated. She's been jobless for a while. She had this movie that didn't actually do well where she was doing a voiceover. She's been, she's been a B-list actor for a very long time. I mean, why would you even say that? I know. I mean, I felt so much pity. He's an NFL, a former NFL player, by the way. But I kind of get her pain because I'm shy by your child. I'm going to create a son and copy your ex. I'm going to side piece. I'm going to go. 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 Let me tell you what I did. I'm going to buy your data. I'm going to go. 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 And then he went ahead to text babes on Instagram. Right. But I think, Baby. but I think if if you're someone if you're someone who's uh, who if you are a person who are your bills are getting paid by a woman, tafadali pia wewe jieshimu kwa sababu si juu na expect nini? I don't know what you. I know exactly. I don't know what you're expecting. But I guess that's it for today. We have sipped so much tea, and I hope that we get to catch up next week. But for now, guys. Uh, I think we are going to leave these people single. Yes. Until next week, guys. My name is Linda Wandetta, and of course, you can always catch up with us on our YouTube channel. We have a lot of content for you guys over there in case you miss out on any of our episodes here. All right. My name is Laura Bata. Catch me next week, same time, same place. Don't forget, YouTube is always available in case you missed the episodes. In case you're heading out somewhere fast and you just want to hear the laughs again, YouTube is the place we are. KTN homepage is also open for any commentary, suggestions. We love to hear from you. And of course, my personal page is at Mbata Laura. See you next week.